beautiful family. It's Friday the 7th of April in the year 2023. And here I am, I've got, got the, I've got Bibles, gospel tracks, got the speaker, a nice cup of coffee there for me. I've, I've trimmed my beard, if you can see, it looks a little better. It looks neater, some people were, were commenting about it. So, and I, I, I thought, hmm, it does, it could do with tidying up. So I did it myself with scissors. I got my hair cut at the barbers. Those, uh, they're not from Kazakhstan, but Kurdistan. So the Kurds, um, that's the hairdressers I went to yesterday. Kurds, Kurdish. Right, so I've come on here this morning. I feel, oh, I don't feel awake yet. That's why I got this coffee. I thought if I have this coffee, it might <laughs> just give me some caffeine and wake me up because I'm half asleep. Um, and I woke up and I thought, oh no. <laughs> I thought, oh my gosh, I can't, I, can't, I can't do this. And you know, I felt very weak. I didn't feel any pain in my back. Um, only a little bit in my feet. Anyway, listen, if we, what we do, when we're in situations like that, we, we, we draw close to God. He is our strength and our shield. We draw close to God and he will draw close to us. It's a promise. And if we know that, I mean, look at this world, look at this great big world. Uh, we, can, we can clearly see God in his creation. So we pray to him, that great and terrible God, the almighty, through the Lord Jesus, we pray to him and we know that he hears. He that made the ears certainly hears. And uh, so we pray to him and we, uh, we, we know he's listening and we, and we, and we not only, uh, it's not a, oh, maybe God will answer this prayer. No, we pray expecting God to answer, knowing that God is gonna answer. That's, that's our faith. Um, you know, that's what overcomes this world, is our faith. Our faith in Jesus. Not in ourselves, but in, in Him. We have to be humble, don't we? And uh, put off our own selves and uh, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh. Instead, be meek um, and humble and obedient. It's nice to be obedient to the Lord. Anyway, I love the Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm going to preach his gospel in Keithley, West Yorkshire. West Yorkshire. So please pray for me, guys, that the Lord will quicken me and whatever comes into your mind. I know some of you pray. This is very important. It's a it's a it's a mission and well in God's sight it's important. The world might not think it's important, but it's number one in God's sight. It's number one priority is get people saved. Um, that, that's that's it and uh, <clears throat> so please pray remember you're part of this as well you really are you'll see when we get to heaven all right all of you uh, you have helped me through paypal you help prayer um, if you have just read really your comments and encouragement so god bless you all wait on the lord and wait patiently for the lord wait on the lord and be of good courage be of good courage and he shall strengthen your hearts. Wait, I say, upon the Lord. Um, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Right, guys, I'm going. Um, I think these doors are going to open in a minute for the train. So please pray for me, guys. West Yorkshire, Keithley. If you, if you live in Keithley, come out and see us. Um, all right. Uh, God bless. Thank you, guys. I love you.